If your system or laptop stuck on preparing automatic repair, it means Windows has run into a serious problem and cannot continue the boot process as expected. This can happen for several reasons, such as corrupted system files that are essential for startup, issues with the master boot record, MBR, or boot configuration data, or hardware failures like a malfunctioning hard drive or faulty RAM. In some cases, malicious software may be responsible for damaging system files, changing boot settings, or disrupting the startup process. As a result, Windows initiates the automatic repair process in an attempt to restore normal operation. If your system is stuck and not loading into the Windows screen, the first step is to shut down your computer completely. Next, create a Windows installation USB drive. Insert this USB drive into your computer's USB port, then power on the system and immediately press the boot key, depending on your system or laptop boot key. From the boot menu, select your USB drive to begin the Windows installation process. Once the setup screen appears, click the next button. Then again, click the next button on the next screen, choose Repair My PC instead of Install Windows 11. If you put Windows 10 USB installation drive, then you can select Repair Your Computer option. This will take you to the Advanced Options menu, where you can access tools to troubleshoot and fix your system. When you see this similar screen, click on Troubleshoot, then go to Advanced Options, then select Command Prompt. First, we will repair the master boot record. This is a vital part of the boot process. It contains essential information about your hard drive's partition structure and guides your system on where to find the operating system. Type boot rec space forward slash fix MBR and press enter. This command repairs or replaces the master boot record on the system partition. Then type boot sect space forward slash NT60 space SYS and press enter. This command updates the master boot code to support booting into Windows. The NT60 refers to the boot code used by modern Windows versions like Windows 10 and 11 system. And the SYS parameter ensures the system partition's boot sector is properly updated, allowing Windows to load correctly. Next type boot rec space forward slash fix boot and press enter. This writes a new boot sector to the system partition replacing a potentially corrupted or damaged one. It's particularly helpful in fixing boot-related issues like the preparing automatic repair loop. Next type, boot rec space forward slash rebuild BCD. This command will scans all disks for Windows installations and lets you choose which ones to add to the boot configuration data store. If the BCD is missing or corrupted, running this command can rebuild it and restore proper boot functionality. After that, Run the system file checker command. Type SFC space forward slash scan now and press enter. This command scans your computer for missing or corrupted system files that might be preventing Windows from starting normally. It checks all protected system files and replaces any damaged or modified ones with the correct versions from your Windows installation media or a cached copy stored on your system. The SFC command helps maintain the integrity of your system files and can resolve a wide range of issues, including startup failures, crashes, and general system instability caused by file corruption. Next, run the check disk utility command. Type chkdsk space forward slash f forward slash r space c colon, then press enter. This command checks your hard drive for disk errors. It scans the file system for problems such as bad sectors, corruption, and logical errors. Running this command can help improve disk performance, prevent data corruption, and resolve issues like system crashes, file system errors, and fragmentation. Once you've finished all the commands, close the command prompt and restart your computer to check if Windows starts up properly or not. If you're still unable to boot into the normal Windows environment, Try starting your computer in safe mode as a next step. Again, go back to the Advanced Options screen, then click on Troubleshoot once again. Next, select Advanced Options, and this time, choose Startup Settings. Then click the Restart button. Your system will restart 
and display a list of startup options. Once you see the startup settings screen, press the number 5 key or F5 to select enable safe mode with networking. This will boot your system into safe mode with network access, allowing you to troubleshoot further. Once Windows boots into safe mode, it runs only the most essential drivers and services, making it easier to diagnose and troubleshoot the problem. Right click on start button and select settings, then click on apps, then click on installed apps. Here, look for any recently installed or unnecessary third party applications and uninstall them. After that, restart your computer to see if Windows boots normally without triggering startup repair or any error messages. If your computer is stuck in the preparing automatic repair loop after a recent Windows update, you can try uninstalling the problematic update from the Windows recovery environment options. To do this, go back to advanced options and select uninstall updates. This allows you to remove the most recent update that may be preventing Windows from starting correctly and return the system to a more stable state. If uninstalling recent updates doesn't resolve the preparing automatic repair loop, try performing a system restore as the next effective step. From the advanced option screen, select system restore. This will open the system restore window. Click next, then choose a restore point that was created before the issue began, preferably one from when your system was functioning normally. Click Next again. Now click on Finish button to begin the restoration process. Windows will now revert system settings, drivers, and installed programs to the state they were in at the selected restore point. Your personal files will remain unaffected. Once the restore is complete, restart your PC and check whether Windows starts normally. I hope one of these methods helped you resolve the preparing automatic repair loop and restore your system to normal. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions or need further assistance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.